Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, you guys are gonna be cooking with me today, and I'm gonna show you um, some peel and stick um, wallpaper type stuff that I got for my dining room. And we're gonna be decluttering a cabinet in my kitchen. Um, my granddaughter is here to help me. She's gonna pull everything out because I need her. She's little and I crammed all that stuff in there before Christmas. So I want to say welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Jessica and let's get started guys. Okay guys, here we have um, a pack, a over two pound pack of chicken. It was literally like $2 and 20 cents um, from our local Hispanic um, store. Got some powdered chickens like bouillon cubes. And then this is the chicken with the tomatoes in it um, got my spoon and my pan of water and I uh, got it on it is currently 157 and we are going to make some homemade chicken soup so here in a minute I'm just showing you I'm going to put the chicken in the water after I take this chicken and the skin off and then put it currently we're putting it in the water so we're going to do this voiceover as we go um here i'm gonna add like um it's just the i want to say canora i think that's how you how you say it um just uh two scoops of this big scoops and then two big scoops of the other because it's going to be a big pot of soup you know so we're going to add the chicken tomato flavor as well give it some color a little bit more flavor and yeah that's what i'm doing here guys So here I'm just going to um, stir all this up and I did want to say, hey, I got my epidemic sounds back. So I'm just going to throw on some music and here in a minute, I'm, it'll show you, give you a close up of what it looks like. Um, stirring this uh, up with the chicken. I'm going to let this cook for a while um, until the chicken's like almost done done like and then I will cut my veggies up and show you what veggies I'm using and get back on here and jump on and off and we're gonna do some decluttering and cleaning and all that good stuff on here guys so right now we're I'm just setting the camera up so we can do these dishes up um, while the chicken is cooking and then we're gonna clean the counter and get to cutting all my veggies up and stuff for right now I'll throw some music on and I hope you guys enjoy I did just want to jump on here and tell everybody good morning and happy Monday. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I hope you enjoy today's video and please leave me a comment, like, share if you want to. And hopefully if you are new here, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you.
vegetables I got my zucchinis and then these um, have to hurry up and cut them and use them for they're not any good so um, I don't know they're called chayotes or something in Spanish but there's like a squash for us two onions I had a cabbage and some baby carrots so once our chicken is like halfway almost all the way there we're gonna add all this but right now I'm gonna wash everything and I'm gonna cut it so that's what I'm
Okay, now that our chicken is nice and getting cooked up, um, I'm going to show you that I'm going to add, I'm going to show you that all my veggies are nice and cut up, my zucchini, my cabbage, carrots, etc. And I'm going to add some um, jalapeno, sliced jalapenos. They're not really hot, they're just mild. Um, some chicken broth to this and I'm going to start adding my veggies guys. So, yep, here we go. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire Don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go oh, oh, oh. Cause we wanted different things And I have to deal with it But it's not easy So tell me how to let go Cause you really seem to know How to carry on on your own Every 
ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. Don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I Everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get him off my mind. Mm -hmm. everything but each other are so I do have a question. I just wanted to know: Does anybody else clean as they go? And when they're cooking, because I sure do. I'm pretty sure you can see that. So this is what it's looking like so far. There's some, some more room in here. Once the cabbage cooks down, um, we'll have more room cabbage and this the green stuff is like a squash some type of squash but it's really really good so we have I stick my spoon down in there chickens at the bottom to see if I have room to add potatoes so I do so we're just gonna add some potatoes I want it to overflow I'm going to push them down to the bottom. Once the cabbage cooks... Oh, the light. Sorry. So first of all, I just went and got this container from downstairs. I'm going to just wipe it out. Ray, bring the Lysol wipes, Ray. And then in this cabinet right here, it is completely crammed to the top, all the way to the back. So I want to have her pull all of this stuff out and we're going to put as much stuff as we can in here so I can see what I'm going to get rid of and what I'm going to keep for now. So I'm going to put you on the tripod and we're going to start pulling stuff out. Oh damn, I've been feeling something for you lately. Cool. Oh man, I think I might be going crazy. Cause all I really, really want is to be with you. And I'm like, I'm saying we're just friends, but thinking you're my man. And baby, if you knew, hey, I say I'm doing all right. I'm doing just fine. So 
cry on the inside I wish you were my man Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm doing just fine But I'm scattered, scattered And I cry when you're not around Because it matters, matters Dreaming of your kisses In the night time Knowing what I'm missing But I feel like Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm fine But I'm scattered We're just friends Oh, yeah I'm scattered We're just friends Just friends So I stay awake I don't wanna be dreaming Cause my heart aches when I wake up It's a sleeping way So I got a mess up here too. I forgot I even had these. I think I got these from, I wanna say, oh, Menards. These are from Menards. Long time ago and I forgot about them. They're dirty. So all this stuff has to be clean. And this reef, we're gonna go ahead and not trip. Take it over here, don't mind the mess. Yep, all my Christmas stuff is still there. This is the original spot for this reef. For now. And I wanted to show you guys that I did go to Menards today. And I picked this up. I wanted to add some more color of like a wood color in here. Because I'm just so tired of the gray. So there's like no gray in this. It's all like wood tone type things. And if you hear something loud, it's just my granddaughter playing upstairs. So I'm going to take these down. And I'm going to do this whole... Let me scoot back. If I don't trip on these shoes, I'm going to do this whole wall right here and this. And then I'm going to, just going to do like a Cracker Barrel wall. I'm going to do all types of country stuff. Everything that I have, I'm going to put up there because that's what I like and that's what I want and then over here as well um, you guys already seen the table I'm gonna move all this stuff and uh, this is the the coat rack thing that I told you that I had that goes with the um, the bench that's in my room so I'm going to do something over here. Of course, I'm going to leave this here. Maybe put the lamp right here to cover that up so it doesn't look so awkward. And then have this area where like coat racks, you know, have a coat rack and then the bench and then three little things underneath for the shoes. So, yeah, we got lots of stuff coming up. Um, I haven't really been feeling all that well. Uh, this Tuesday, I go to my last surgeon appointment. Fingers crossed. Pray for me, y'all, because I ain't been feeling the best lately, kind of like dizzy and nauseous and stuff like that. So, yeah, so this is what we are going to put on this wall for a backsplash, just to tone down some of the gray and these light floors. Eventually, my granddaughter's got her shoes everywhere. Um, from the house shifting, um, if you haven't been here, um, we was having problems with the structure, but it was been fixed and all the tiles have moved and shifted and stuff like that. So that's why like, let me turn on this light. That's why like you'll, you see this and it's like cracked right here because everything has been shifting on us as well as like right here. See, it's like moving out. Gosh, my baseboards are nasty. See, my house is not clean. It's nasty. See, like everything's shifting. So eventually, when we save the money, we're going to be doing uh, darker wood floors. So I figured this would be perfect to add some, you know, brown into it. And the color of floors we're going to be going with is like this color of wood. Not no red wood. And then this, I was going to get rid of this, but I think I'm just going to sand this down and stain it like a walnut. And then I want to stain that like a walnut. Or I might just leave it natural. I don't know, but I'm going to move this kitchen sign. 
Matter of fact, I think I'm going to move it in this video. So, yeah, let me get off. Let's move it right now. We're going to move it right now. So let me put you guys up on the tripod. Let me move this out of the way. And then we're going to move this picture. Yep. So before we move the pitcher, let's check on the soup. We don't want it to overflow. Kind of like just push it down. Trying to let the uh, cabbage cook down. So then I can keep adding stuff and let some of the water and stuff cook down. Once it cooks down, then I can add more stuff to it. You know, cabbage takes a while to cook down. And it's 345. And it's Sunday. So you guys will be seeing this on Magic Monday. So I'm going to start uploading every Monday at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to call it my Magic Monday upload. So you will get a very long video with jam-packed full of whatever I can jam-pack in there. So I'm going to just slide this in here Whoop. don't make side this in here with the rest of the stuff and set it in there and we're gonna put you i'm put you up on the tripod take this down take this down because i just want to move that picture just don't i don't want it there because i already have one that says kitchen here so let's move this guys Okay, my soup started overflowing, guys. That's my soup. I'm going to have to add... I'm going to have to get another pan. I don't have a bigger pan like this. So I'm going to get one more pan and get rid of some of this and put it in another pan. Turn another burner on because I don't want it to overflow. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do because it's overflowing on me, guys. That's why I don't cook on my channel. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let the camera... Run, y'all. I'm going to put this back. And sorry for it moving. And you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to get a pan. Preferably this one. And we're going to grab, oh, grab this. I didn't think I didn't think it was gonna overflow and backfire on me like that. So guys, it ended up overflowing on me. That's why I do not like cooking on my channel, but it's all good. We're just gonna get it into another pan, add some more seasoning, some hot water to it, get it going in the other pan, and just have two pans going, and you know, keep adding stuff to it as we go and get it done and. Uh, coming up here soon, I'm going to declutter underneath my declutter and organize underneath my kitchen sink, straighten up in my dining room, and I'm going to hop back on. And right now, I'm just going to throw some music on for you guys. And yeah. I've been alone for what seems like forever. Okay, so I took some out of here and put some in here, and I did put um, one piece of chicken in here, so as well. As this cooks down some more, I'll be able to add all of this back in here because I do have, let's say, let's say, let's say, um, don't mind my fridge, it is a hot mess, but it's all right. Everything's okay. This corn 
I almost forgot. Shut the fridge. So I have this corn, and corn takes a long time to cook too. So let me open this corn up. And then this is zucchini. Zucchini I don't add until everything is completely cooked because, or, or almost cooked because this zucchini cooks super fast. So I'm just gonna rinse this corn off. I can get it open with one hand, guys. Let's see. The next thing I will be um, cooking on my channel is gonna be spaghetti salad. Mm sounds so good I only put a little bit of meat in the soup on the bones because that's what my husband wanted I'm not really much eating meat lately I don't know and I can't eat any of this what I which I would love to but can't eat any of this so I'm gonna um stop the camera break these in half and then come back okay so, I'm gonna add these corn to this one. This is the pot I just took. That's why I didn't add any more water, because I just realized, oh no, you forgot the corn. So, yep, we put like these. After I broke these, we're gonna put them all down in here. We're not gonna put any over here in this little one. Because I don't, whoop, oh, sorry. We're not going to put any over here in this little one because I don't want it to overflow on me. I do have um, bouillon cubes that I probably will add a couple to this and then maybe one to this. So I'm just going to go to the bottom. Move some stuff around. Push this corn down to the bottom. Y'all, this soup is so good. Like, it's so good. He wanted me to put, like, steak in here, too. They call it Carlo de Rice. Or Carlo de Roast or something like that in Spanish. But I just wanted the pollo, which is chicken in Spanish. So... What is that? Let's not get that down there. Let's take that out because we don't want that. So, push these down in here. Keep that one piece of little chicken in there. Keep the flavor going. It's the, the cabbage that takes up the most room because you have to let it, have to let it cook down so much. But, yeah. So... Actually, I'm going to do a taste test on the juice real quick. Oh, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Tastes so good. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this cook, and I will be back. Well, I'll be back with so doing something on here. So here in my dining room, I'm just going to straighten up the shoes, the rug, um, lightly clean the table off, not anything spectacular, nothing, just a little tidy up. Wheels in motion 
crazy for you I feel like the ocean So here we're just going to put these um, little bit of dishes that I got going on over here. Go ahead and put these away and get them out the way and let you listen to some music until I hop back on here. So 
just a quick update on the soup. Everything is boiling over here in this one. Everything is going to be start ready to almost boiling in this one. I've added all the potatoes and everything. Like I said, I just have the zucchini that I need to add last. I did a taste test. It's tasting really good, the juices. Um, yeah, so just like to keep the little area clean. But, um, yeah, this is the current status of this situation. And I don't even know what's back in here. Oh, it's grease. I'm going to have to get rid of that. Well, it's actually like watery grease, so I'm going to have to get rid of that. But for now, it can just stay there. It's chilling. It's currently 4.13. And, yeah, so we're just waiting. We don't. I don't know how long it's going to take. Usually it takes me all day to cook soup like this. So um, I guess we'll... Just keep continuing and doing stuff I need to do in the house. Or around the house, I should say. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl. But if you treat me right. In this whole world No, I'm not gonna fight I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be naughty Because there ain't nobody love you like I Like I do Like I do Like I do
Okay, guys, I just got some hot water. Just got done cleaning underneath the sink. Wash my hands, of course, off camera. But I need some hot water. Let's see, because I got this is starting to boil over here. And I turned this down some, so we're just going to add a little bit of water to this. Keep letting it cook slow. And this is the current situation. And I think I might, yeah, I turn that down just a little bit. Put down. Mm mm mm. Looks so good. Okay, now it is 5.32. Told you this takes forever. Um, I still have to add my zucchini in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the zucchini in and then I'm going to put this back in here. So let me do that real quick and I will be back. Okay, I got everything, everything in there. Could not fit like everything back into this pan. So I just put like the chicken and the carrots and the um, squash things back in there. And then added zucchini. And then took this and just added the rest of the zucchini and this juice to cook the zucchini in here. Because it's not going to fit in here until the rest of the stuff cooks down. So yeah, that's what we got going on. We're just going to let this cook. And then I'll be back with the finishing pro finished product. Um placed up in a bowl and yeah that's what we're gonna do guys okay guys I got it's the soup is done um just need a little bit more time for the zucchini and stuff that I had in here because I end up pouring it in here and I did plate it up but this is what see I, I usually don't use the bone chicken but he wanted that but there's potatoes and carrots and zucchini, chicken, corn on the cob, the squash-like stuff. It doesn't taste like squash, I promise. It tastes really, really good. So I have the juice in there. Um, so yeah, did I say everything? Potatoes, carrots, zucchini, the squash-like stuff, corn on the cob, chicken, and oh cabbage and onions cabbage and onions so i got this because my mom ain't been feeling good so i'm gonna take this over to her and this is the finished product this is what it looks like and i'm still cooking up my husband will eat on this for probably two to three days because it's like there's a lot of chicken in the bottom of it and i won't eat any of the chicken i have to lightly eat cabbage because I don't want my stomach to get upset so I'm going to flip you around if I can so I'm flipping you around don't mind what I look like it's been all day cooking this it's dark outside now I want to say thank you guys for joining me today thank you for clicking on today's video and I will see you in the next one